on up, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a weekend of vlog. Today we want to take baby out of the end to story time at Barnes and Nobles. And it starts at 11 and it is 10.08. He just went down for a nap. So honestly, I don't know if we're going to make it, but we're going to the grow at Farmer's Market. So either way, if we make it to story time or not, we'll have fun today. I hope that we can make it to story time because I really enjoyed story time last time. Went to the local library. It was a lot of fun. And now I found out that Barnes and Nobles does story time and they do it every Saturday not every location so if you live near a Barnes and Nobles check their website to make sure that your local one does have it we have a Barnes and Noble that's literally 10 minutes up the street but they don't do story time so we have to go a little further out and we're running a little bit late maybe sleeping in the bedroom my husband is showering and I have to do my makeup over here with this tiny little mirror adaptability is the name of the game when you are a mom so that is what I'm doing. I kind of already did my eyebrows and mascara, but I want to do a little, you know, a little bit more. All week, I literally spend my days without anything on my skin, and I just. <laughs> my mirror just broke. That's so funny. Seriously, let's see if my makeup even looks good after I'm done because the light in here is horrible. My makeup is done. My eyebrows literally, some days they look great and I feel good about them. Some days they're just not okay. This one always looks good. This one always wants to do whatever the hell she wants and it's always misbehaving. My eyebrows are not even. I don't think a lot of people have even eyebrows unless you are gifted, blessed, you know, by the eyebrow gods. So it is 11.03, so we're definitely gonna miss story time, but we're still heading to the Grove Farmer's Market and exploring. So this video is now turning into come with us to the Grove Farmer's Market. So we made it to the Grove and the first thing we're doing is getting some food. We're getting Trejo's tacos because we are so hungry. Right? And we're sitting outside. The weather's beautiful. My husband's laughing for whatever reason. And we're gonna try this strawberry matcha latte. They have coconut too. It's like something creamy then. It's good. Like a, a nutty, nutty flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is yours. Oh. I get to have a buddy. You're That's all I'm Hi. No, because it's good. <laughs> oh, so I never noticed this before because why would I? But the Grove, and I'm assuming the Americana and Glendale also have this family room with these nice rooms to breastfeed in private. They have a nice changing table. They have a cute small little toilet for the little ones who are already potty trained. And this fun like playroom for the, for the kids. So this is pretty cool. This actually makes me feel better. Like if I was to come just me and the baby that I can breastfeed in private and you know do what I need to do with the baby in a less crowded bathroom or like space basically It is the next day and we are out on a beautiful Sunday walk. It is our Sunday tradition to go for a walk. It is a slow Sunday morning. So we are back home. I'm making myself some oatmeal for breakfast and I'm making the baby an omelet, which I am becoming sort of of an omelet expert. Just kidding. I am just learning to make omelets right now. 
I tried to make it thicker, so I was trying to fold it even more, but it didn't really work. I just saw a video they were making omelets or like eggs for the baby, unless they have, they're using like some sort of mold. Because it was like a freaking long, long and thick piece of egg. And I was like, I'm like, but teach me your ways. <laughs> I'm gonna put the bed on. 